Hello tubers. Got a few updates for you. So spent the past uh, couple couple days uh, getting my computer re uh, redone. And uh, so what I ended up doing is I went out and bought new hard drives. Actually, I bought uh, SSD drives. And I went and bought a couple of uh, Pro SSDs. The 512 has now got my operating system on it, which I ended up having to uh, to redo. And so I put Windows 7 on and then upgraded to 10 because uh, t getting 10 on there was the only way to get my video editor to work. So uh, pretty much back to normal, just fresh operating system and everything's all clean. And, and now that I've got the SSDs in there, man, this thing is so fast. Now it boots up in about 40 seconds. Um, that's even with the login. I put my video, video editor on the other SSD that I bought and uh, that's also been working out really nice and I'll show you how I got this thing set up all the other drives I've moved my data around and uh, formatted so all all three of these drives here are uh, reformatted this Western digital hard drive was had or had my operating system on it and I just wanted to kill it uh, so don't ever put a operating system on a green drive or an, or an efficient drive it's just meant for storage that's it these are all two terabyte drives, so I got just over six terabytes of hard drive space, and uh, I've got all my data split up, so none of them are, are full. So yeah, I've got a lot of space now, and it's it's really nice. I did speed test on these, and I think uh, a couple of these were sitting around 120, 150 megabytes a second, and uh, I after moving the data from them and then formatting them and then moving the data back yeah, I picked up a 20 megabytes a second uh, speed on there so um, the formatting really helped speed those up even the green drive was doing pretty good it was pretty comparable to uh, these two this one will put out about 150 uh, read write and then these two here are, uh, are getting close to 200 now the SSD mounted up here because I didn't want them flopping around or anything, so I was able to mount them up here. It would be ideal if I had a little uh, little cage thing to put these in. They're uh, just little two and a half inch drives, seven millimeter, real thin. Aluminum, really nice construction there, and uh, I, yeah. Uh, so I put them up here, and I rerouted an SSD, or not, a, uh, a SATA cable and power cable. And uh, I think I stole the SATA cable from my DVD drive to hook up the other, one of the other drives to get that all to work. But yeah, uh, these, both of these drives um, will we'll do a read and write at about 440, which on the box, this is 554, and these, these come kind of close to that. Which is a lot better than the one SSD that I bought. It, the one I had it was like a Corsair Chevy Nova or whatever the hell it was. And God, it was just slow. It was bad. Um, but yeah, I've been running this for a few days now. And uh, I've been absolutely pleased with it. I also removed the goofy thing that I had up here. The fan controller. I just removed all that and made everything automatic. Fan up here is plugged into the motherboard. and Yeah, it's nice not having that light on. Uh, I can sleep a little better because this thing's always on when I'm when I'm sleeping. So, because I got my music going and whatnot. Oh, it looks like I have another spot for a fan. That's cool. I, I had like two spots, but I didn't realize that. So I'm like, oh, I can put another fan in there. I'm running really good now. It's it's super fast. It's just, yeah. I mean, 40 second boot up time. Hell yeah. So now it's time for the update on the crew cap. Um, now later in the week, the actual video for that, I think part six, will be putting the Cummins engine in. That's uh, going to be later in the week. I think Wednesday we're going to try and do that. And I'm off all this week, so you're going to have some videos this week. Um, yeah, and I got a uh, like a couple hundred bucks worth of stuff from LMC Truck on the way for the crew cab as well. So we got some stuff there. Right now I'm uh, getting the rest of the shocks put on. I'm just, I did the other side. I'm about to do this one here. Still got that piece of crap in there. No more, no more off four trucks for a 350. As you can see, we got these nice little. These are, uh, I think they're made by Monroe, but they're sold under the Napa line, and it's a uh, OEM spec shock. I think that, that one's actually a little bit more than OEM. Um, it's a little bit more heavy duty, so. 
Um, they're really nice. They should absorb all the movements of this axle a lot better than the old shocks. Painted up this. Actually, I just brushed all the crust off, blew it off, and then coated it with some undercoating. This is actually going to go under the inner fender well. Um, I just wanted to coat it with something. And then, uh, so now that's good to go. And I got this one pretty much coated. That one painted. All the chrome trim. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to get a little rag and, and some chrome polish. And I'm going to polish that up so it's nice and shiny. And as you can see, we finished painting the cross member, which <laughs> is collecting pollen. All these trees are derping all over everything. I mean, look at, look at this. So I painted the cowling. Painted the wiper arms. I gotta get a rag and wipe this off. But we got a brand new windshield. Oh yeah, I gotta wipe this whole window down. That's just ruining the brand new window. Oh yeah, the sealant. Yeah, that, that's set up pretty good now. So I'm gonna polish the trim up, get that put on. I mean, yeah, we got a brand new window. It cost me $158. But I sold the turbo kit for the 6.9 and the injector lines and used that money to buy the new window and we're also going to use the rest of that to get some extra parts for this thing. So we're hoping to get the Cummins swapped into it later this week. And then same thing with the back here, we got uh, Monroe shocks, they're under the Napa line, these are the OES. OE Spectrum shocks. It's got nice rubber bushings on them with uh, things pushed into it and it's all vulcanized, not going nowhere. And uh, it's amazing. Those actually do firm up the suspension quite a bit. Um, I get on here and try and bounce this. This thing just barely deflects. And then this side, it's just blah. Just, it's terrible. So those, those shocks are gonna make a difference in how this thing rides and drives. See where's the uh there's the oh I actually want to get these bushings out of here because I need I'm gonna use these for something else. But yeah, look at look at that. What a piece of crap. Rugged trail. They're probably good for like a 150 or, or something, but I wouldn't run those on a three-quarter or one ton truck. I mean, you get look at all the spring you have. That's not enough shock for that kind of spring. And so I got some firmer shocks that'll absorb all those movements. So yeah. Just nitpicking away. Just coming together. You know, the wiring harness all cleaned up and stuff. But what I'm really happy about is this new window. This new window is nice, man. The old one wasn't even attached at the bottom. The seal completely separated from the cab. The cab sealer was cracked in this corner, so he went and filled it up with some this sealant here, which is set up. And then up here, it just the rest of it just split right right in half. So it needed a new window bad. So yeah, and eventually I'm gonna get a window done for this truck. Cause if you look, this actually has like a solar coating on it, and then mine is straight clear. I mean, you can see right through it, and it's I get sunburnt just driving in the sun for ten minutes. But yeah, this has a much nicer nicer setup. So. Yeah, brand new window. And then later, I gotta get all this crappy wiring out of here. And I think I'm gonna, I don't know if this is what this is for. I'm gonna find out what that's for, see where it's going to. And then if it's coming down for lights, corner lights, then I'm just gonna leave that there and Adam, Adam can use that to put his uh, corner lights in. But I did order about a couple hundred bucks worth of stuff for this from LMC Truck. Um, we'll go over that later in the week when we get that stuff. Um, right now, I think I'm going to try and put this dash back together in a little bit. Um, maybe tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so. So here's the 6.9 as it rests. I, I still have an injector pump for it. I think I'd like to let it go for about 150 bucks. Uh, maybe even 100. I don't know if anybody wants the adapter plate for this, but I think I'm going to unbolt that. Or see if it unbolts. Looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it does bolt up on there. 
I don't know. I think we're going to do a teardown video on this. And then, I, you know, if nobody else wants anything from it, I think it's going to it's just going to go right in the back of this truck and we're going to haul it off for scrap. Um, and then later, we got to cut this. This bumper is welded right to the hitch. So we got to cut that and then get this bumper off. And then this donated bumper here is going to go on. I'll probably spend some time and polish this up, make it look good, and then throw it on the truck and it'll be good there. We got a fender. I think this fender is going to go to scrap. So I'll try and peel this F-150 logo off here in a bit. The hood we're using from the extendable. Yeah, and the other fender is coming from the expendable. Expendable. That's what it is right now. And then I got a new one of these, the hood to cal seal. I mean, it's... Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's where she sits now. Hopefully by the end of this week we can get this thing uh, running and driving. I got the fuel lines ready to go. I got every turn. This hose is going to come off. We'll use it with the new stuff that we have on it. This is our feed line. Yeah, she's pretty much ready to go.